HBO's new series, We Own This City, chronicles the rise and fall of the Baltimore Police Department's infamous Gun Trace Task Force. The latest episode centers on the ringleader of the squad, Wayne Jenkins. Alexa Ashwell is live looking back to answer the question, just who is Wayne Jenkins? Alexa. Okay, Mary, here are the original eight officers with the Gun Trace Task Force scandal on the wall. At the center, Wayne Jenkins, who is currently serving the longest sentence, passed down. It's been several years since the uncovering of the Baltimore Police Department's corrupt gun trace task force, a scandal the city is dealing with still today. HBO's new series, We Own This City, shining a light back on the dark cloud. I did think they depicted what was going on in the city really accurately. Ed Norris was the police commissioner when the well-known drama TV series, The Wire, also created by David Simon, hit the airwaves. The named ringleader of the corrupt gun trace task force, Wayne Jenkins, wasn't part of the department when Norris led the force. Jenkins began his career in the early 2000s as a beat cop. Oh, you can see the cocaine up in the visor. He joined GTTF several years later, and in 2016, the then sergeant was appointed to lead the squad. Mr. Jenkins is extremely remorseful. It fell a year later when a total of eight officers, including Jenkins, were indicted on on charges including racketeering, robbery, extortion, and overtime fraud. Members pled guilty to robbing citizens during street and traffic stops, making illegal searches in people's homes, planting evidence, and providing false affidavits and police reports to further their crimes. The heaviest sentence given to Jenkins, the 41-year-old now serving a 25-year sentence in a low-security prison in Ashland, Kentucky. His release date? 2038. My fear is that people, it's such an unpopular time to be a police officer that people are going to see it and say, yeah, they're all like that. Um, and they're not. So I just want people to know that. The fallout from this continues to this day. A total of 13 officers have been charged, and it's led to new recommendations with the consent decree with BPD's hiring, training, oversight, and accountability. Alexa Ashwell, Fox 45 News.